Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at multiplication by 3. Again, the table is indispensable and we should memorize the table. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, and so forth. What you can do here is again look at the numbers and realizing that now we grab every third number in the set of numbers going from 1 to infinity. Here we have the first number, 1 times 3 is 3, or I should say 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, and so forth. So we simply grab every third number. The multiplication tables, the answer here simply represents every third number in the set. Another way of looking at it is when you multiply, it's always adding 3 to the previous answer. So if you have 3 times 3 being 9, then 3 times 4 is 9 plus 3 gives you 12. 3 times 5 is the previous answer, 12 plus 3 gives you 15. It's always 3 more in the next answer compared to the previous answer. Another way of looking at multiplication is to simply say that 3 times 1, you have 3 1's. You add them together, you get 3. 3 times 2 means you have 3 2's. Add them together, you get 6. 3 times 3, you have 3 3's. Add them together, you get 9. 3 times 4, 3 4's. Add them together, you get 12. 3 times 5, you have 3 5's, add them together, you get 15, and you see the pattern. Again, 3 times 6, you have 3 6's, add them together, you get 18, and so forth. Sometimes we need little tricks, because if someone says, what is 3 times 6? You sit there and go, oh, I can't remember. But then there's some tricks to use. For example, for the first 3, it's fairly easy. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Most of us can easily recognize that. And then if you go to the next one, 3 times 4, grab the previous answer of 3 times 3, which is 9, and simply add 3 to it, you get 12. Then when you get to the halfway point, 3 times 5, well, you should know that 3 times 10 is simply a 3 with a 0 added to it, that's 30. Take half of that, you get 15. So another way of looking at 3 times 5 is the same as saying 3 times 10 divided by 2. So 3 times 10 is, that's 30, and divide by 2, you get 15. 3 times 6 is the halfway answer, 15, add 3 to it, you get 18. And 3 times 7, you get the previous answer, add 3, you get 21. And 3 times 8, you can look at it as adding 3 8's together, 8 plus 8 is 16. Add another 8, you get 24. And 3 times 9 is 3 times 10 minus 3, so 3 times 10 is 30, subtract 3 from it, you get 27. And finally, 3 times 10, of course, is 30. So coming up with this little trick sometimes really helps if you just can't remember what it was. 3 times 9, what is that again? Oh, I know that's 3 times 10, and then take away 3. You can also think about 3 times 8 as being 3 times 10, and take away 2 times 3, which would be 30 minus 6, which is 24. So those little tricks really help us sometimes in coming up with the answer. It's not necessary that you know it immediately, but when you think about it for a few seconds, you go, ah, that's how I can do it. So again, let's take a look at that. 3 times 8 would be the same thing as saying 3 times 10 minus 2 times 3, because 8 is 2 less than 10, so this would be equal to 30 minus 2 3's, which is 6, and that's equal to 24, which is the same answer that we got right over there. So that's what we mean by little tricks that help us quickly come up with the answer if we just don't remember what it was. Those are the tricks that help us through these multiplication tables, and if we start learning all these little tricks, it'll become a lot easier to deal, to deal with multiplication. And that's how it's done.